I would like to talk to you for a minute about DAX, about data analysis expressions and my experience of learning DAX. Being an Excel user and an Excel lover, when Power Pivot was released in Excel 2010, along with this DAX expressions, to me it was really, really exciting because they were saying this DAX language, this functional language was de designed and developed for Excel users. So in my little head, I thought to myself that, yippee, I can learn to code this particular language and it'll be the first language that I've learned to code and it's going to be really, really easy because it's made for Excel users. But I quickly came to realize that DAX isn't as simple as Excel. DAX is a very, very powerful language. It's a functional language. And now not only is it used in Power Pivot with Excel, but it's also the modeling language in Power BI and it's used in analysis services too. So the DAX language has now spread from one program to three programs and it's a really, really powerful tool for analyzing your data with and modeling your data with. So what's the differences between then Excel functions and DAX functions? Well, as I said, DAX is much more powerful. DAX doesn't work on cell by cell references like Excel does. And as I've heard hell in a cell, I love that expression. DAX instead works on tables of data and subsets of tables of data. And these tables can be filtered into smaller table sets and calculations can be done across tables as long as there's some sort of relationship intact. Now you hear the word relationship and you might kind of freak out and think, ah, access, I could never get my head around access. But this isn't access, it's nothing like access at all. So I said DAX is more powerful, but it's also more complicated as well than Excel. And there's an awful lot more to it than just understanding the basic functions that are available or the basic expressions that are available. There's some theory that you need to learn behind DAX, and this theory can be quite complicated. It's theory related to the context in which expressions are actually carried out. And if you don't understand the context, the basic fundamentals of DAX, you're not going to be able to carry out complex DAX calculations and actually get the results that you want. So the good news is there is a new course coming soon on the Excel Club. It's going to be mastering the fundamentals of DAX for Power BI, Power Pivot, and Analysis Services. This course is going to cover all of the fundamentals and it's going to be a really, really meaty course, a course that you can get stuck into because it's gonna have plenty of activities for you to do. It's gonna cover all of the basic and the most common DAX functions used, iterator pairs such as sum and sum x, counting count x. But most importantly, it's going to give you the knowledge behind how DAX actually works, how the DAX engine actually carries out the expression. So we'll talk in detail about the row context and about the filter context. And all this terminology will come together for you within the course. And after we look at this, we'll then also look at the calculate function, which is one of the most powerful functions that there is in DAX. And we'll finish up looking at time intelligence functions and how these time intelligence functions actually work because by understanding time intelligence functions, you can even build your own. So keep your eye out on the website, the xlclub.com. Hop over and sign up to the newsletter and you will be on the email list then when the course goes live. And thank you very much for watching the video. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And please do leave your comments in the comments box below and I'll get back to you. Thank you.